Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> would Madame get us something to nibble before we take off? <laughs> oh, what did you have in mind? Well, today <laughs> we have pretzels. <laughs> oh, fantastic. But, uh, you know, I prefer the ear of low. Oh, those are very good too. Mm. Oh, lay around. So, uh, what are we doing in Adam Chandler's plane? Liza, let me borrow it. Along with the pilot. Uh -huh. that's, that's very amusing. Why are we here? Where are we going? You promised to tell me once I got in here. I thought you agreed you were going to go with the flow. I agreed to board the plane. Uh, the flow better have me back down on the ground and in time to pick up the boys from school. You will be. Just relax. Just tell me what we're doing. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, doesn't this just smack of romance? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> okay. Let's just say today, I'm taking you on a flight to nowhere. No, no, better yet, our destination is somewhere over the rainbow. You are so full of it. You think? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I just never know what to expect from you. You got no idea. Today, I'm going to prove to you just how much I love you. Yes. No, no, I don't want to that. You promised Dr. Clayton you were going to eat right. Come on. I do eat right. I have eaten right. It's not the food, Ted. The food is delicious. It's wonderful. I just, there's too much of it. Why are you trying to spoil me? Come on. The question is, why not spoil you? Hmm. 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 That's a very good answer. I know. <laughs> But you still haven't told me what we're doing up here. I'm starting to feel a little, like, hijacked. One way of looking at it. See what a guy's got to do, get some alone time with his wife? Oh, that's very funny, Dad. Yeah, that's very romantic. But you know what? I can tell that we're just circling around Pine Valley. You know, we're not even that high up. I mean, like, I can see, like, there's a boy's baseball diamond down there in Adam's house. Honey, do me a favor. Sit down, okay? I can't concentrate. <sighs> Look, truth is, I did bring you up here to show you something. And it's not Adam's house. No. <laughs> Look. I know how badly you want to have a baby. And you brought me up here so we could make one. Why don't you just, just <laughs> turn it off for a second. I want to have a baby, too. I know. And it's wonderful. And we will, as soon as Dr. Clater gives us the okay. Dixie. Do you remember how you promised me, you gave me your word you were going to take care of yourself? That you were going to follow doctor's orders? That, that you were going to be absolutely honest with me? Yes, and I have, haven't I? I'm the mother-to-be, the queen of mothers-to-be. Mm. I mean, look at how I eat. I eat healthy, I drink gallons of water, Tad. I, I, I exercise, Dixie, I... Dixie, I, Dixie, Dixie. We promised we were going to share everything, right? Well, that means... In spite of how much I love you, that I have a, a right to share my doubts. Your, your doubts? Yeah. About what? Dad, I thought we'd been through this already. I thought we both wanted the same thing. So did I. But I'm not so sure I can trust you anymore. <sighs> what makes you say that? I'll show you. Magic fingers. This is just before your appointment with Dr. Hayward. Two hours before you started the miscarry. Well, I... I, uh, I wish I'd known. You did know. You were warned again and again and again. Why didn't you tell your doctor your back hurt? And more importantly, why didn't you tell me? You think I deliberately hid this from you? Well, honey, what am I supposed to think? 
Every single MD we saw, Clater, my father, Hayward, Jake, told you back pain could be symptomatic of kidney failure. What do you call that? I thought that was a twinge, Tad. I, I didn't really think anything of it. Why not? That's what's got me so scared. Don't you get it? Why didn't you think something of that? I mean, I, why didn't alarms go off? Because. Because it passed. Because I was preoccupied. I don't know. Besides, the back pain had nothing to do with my kidney. You know that now. You didn't know that then. Is this, is this all why you're having second thoughts about having a baby? Yes. That's why I freak every time you talk about having another child. How do I know something like this isn't going to happen again? Look, Ted. I learned so much from that pregnancy, okay? I know so much more about my body now. I'm not going to put myself at risk or the baby. I promise you. Honey, don't you understand? Even if you didn't mean to do it deliberately, I'm afraid that you're so dedicated to the idea of having a baby that it would happen anyway. And... I gotta tell you, I mean, you're kind of screwing up the act. Because I'm supposed to be the maniac in the family, right? And proud of it. No, no, honestly. Between the two of us, I'm the one that usually takes the risk. Is that correct? Yeah, and that's fine with me. <laughs> Is it? How about a little demonstration? What? You really don't know what it's like to watch somebody you love more than anything else in the world risk their life, do you? Well, honey, maybe you should change that. Dad, but you look, you look like a turtle with a, with a truss on. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, honey. <laughs> it's regulation. Well, you want some help with it? Can I help you out? Maybe no. a little no, bit? No, 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 I got it. I'm fine. All right. Well, now that you've got your, your Indiana Jones outfit on, do I get a costume too? Nope. Not this time. Hmm. Well, I guess we've sort of cleared the air and now you're feeling adventurous, perhaps. Romantic? Try risky. As in risque? Nope. As in, check this out. If I were to open this door, there'd be very little to keep me from jumping out of the plane. Oh, but you're not going to open that door. Why not? I got a parachute. <laughs> Dad, be serious. I am serious. Hey. I'm styling. I got backup. All I gotta do is hit the silk. I float down to earth like a feather. That is, of course, you know, if everything goes the way it's supposed to. But, hey, you never know. And, and that's the thrill, isn't it? Yeah, that's fascinating. You know, you don't know anything about skydiving. You've never worn a parachute in your People life. Do it all the time, honey. How hard can it be? It can be hard. It can be very hard. Now, look, just come on. Relax. Stop moving around and move away from the door. We'll talk about this rationally. I can't be rational about this, honey. I'm sorry. It's just, it's an experience I, I've, I've just got to have. Sound familiar? I, you, yeah? I mean, you should understand that. Tad, <sighs> sit down. <laughs> Tad, move away from the door, Tad. Aha. Uh -huh. Starting to worry, aren't you? Because you're afraid I'm going to take a risk that I don't need to take. You starting to get the picture? I'm starting to think you're nuts. Nuts? You got no idea. You got no idea how nuts I could be. You have no idea how nuts I was when I saw that video and I realized you didn't tell anybody deliberately. Dad, that has nothing to do it with this. It has everything to do with it. I mean, why not? You expect me to have faith in you when you take crazy chances. Just move away from the door. Dad! Dad! Dad!
strawberry tarts are the best. Oh, I, I need a ladder. Does Adam have a ladder? I have no idea, Stuart. What, what's wrong, darling? You better come out here and see for yourselves. Hi, everybody. Looks like a nice party. I'm sorry to drop in unannounced. Ted, are you all right? What are you... Yeah, I'm okay. Good. There's uh, just one problem. Oh, dear. What's that? I can't reach the pastry. <laughs>